So you've got uh, yourself what they call a triple decker. Three different units on three different floors. And I'm on the third floor, and of course there's no elevator here, so of course it's been a little challenging getting up and down the stairs, but we're getting oh, by. Um, there's a few more projects that are going to be done in the apartment um, to make it a little easier yeah. and a little safer for me sure. to get around. So. Good. Well, as Good. you know, you know, we're working with the Boston Survivors Accessibility Alliance, and together we're going to take care of some of those projects. But the first thing we want to start with are your front steps. And Tom, you've had a look at them. I have had a look at them, and there's a couple of things that really jump out at me. Well, first of all, when they build a wooden stair, they always like to put an overhang on it like this. And aesthetically, that's great. It also gives a nice wide platform to step on when you're going up the stairs. But the problem is with someone with a prosthetic, if they climb the stair, they drag that foot, they can actually trip on that overhang. That is true, and that has happened to me. I have to think about it all the time when I'm going up and down the stairs. Oh, well, that's definitely something that we need to fix. The other thing that jumps out at me are the risers. The riser height needs to be consistent over the stair run. And if I measure right here, I've got nine and a half inches, seven inches, seven, and nine. Wow. Now that alone is illegal and unsafe for anybody. Right. So the project for us today is to rebuild your old stairs. I'm so excited, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's get the tools. Wow, look at all the work you've got done. <laughs> yeah, we got your old stairs out. Completely gone. And here is a piece of the old stair stringer. Now you had three steps, they were all uneven, and they were also cut at a 90 degree angle. But right. we have cut a new stringer, which you're gonna like a lot better right here. And the first thing is, is that every riser is now exactly the same height. Right, we also added a step. One, two, three, four. By adding a step, that allows us to shrink the height of the riser, making it more comfortable and more safe. Now your old stringers were cut at a 90 degree angle. By cutting it at a 90 degree angle, the stair step hung over about three quarters to an inch, creating a trip point for you. What we did is we cut the stringer on an angle. That allows us to pitch our riser, making the stair tread flush, eliminating that trip point. Mm -hmm. So now all we gotta do to get the stringers in is to add one piece of structure right here and we're ready to go. Exactly. We have six stringers spaced 16 inches apart and this two by six will hold them together at the top. And another two by six will hold them across the bottom. This toe kick will stiffen up the bottom riser. We'll fasten the stairs to the porch using timber screws. Now we're going to attach the bottom of the stairs to the concrete walk with a masonry fastener. So what I got to do first is pre-drill a hole. We're using solid PVC trim boards for the risers that we fasten with a special screw. The screw head drills a perfectly round hole that we fill with a PVC plug. These composite deck cores just get screwed right to the stringers. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, the stairs look great. Yep, your stairs are all built, and now it's time to start thinking about a handrail. The railing's beautiful. Well, this is a handrail that we made just for you, and we had it built at a local welding shop. Now, they started with a straight piece of inch and a quarter tubular steel, and they used a machine guided by a computer to bend it in the exact shape that we needed. Then they welded the end caps and the brackets, and they sprayed on a good grade enamel finish. Now we had these handrails made longer at the top and the bottom so you can actually grab the handrail before you enter the stairway. Now the building code says that the height of the handrail needs to be 34 to 38 inches off the nose of a stair tread. Now you're pretty tall. How does this feel for you right now? This is 34 inches. That feels a little bit low. Okay, so let's move it up just a little bit. How does that one feel? Yeah, that's great. That feels good right there. Okay, that's where we'll set it. All right, now let's get it on our mark. The mark up there, I'm going to drop it on my clamp down here. Make sure I'm in the center of the post. Okay, drill it. Okay, our stairs are all built, our handrails are in, and technically we are built to code. We don't need to close this in because we're not high enough off the ground. But I want to go one more step and close it in with a balustrade system. And to do that, we're going to use this right here. This is a kit. It comes with a top rail, a bottom rail, the balusters. The holes are all drilled in the balusters. It's an engineered material and you never have to paint it. Nice. This is going to fit a little tight. Get it in there. It's in. Nice. All right, Karen, your stairs and railing are complete. You want to try them out? I'd love to. No more trip points, no more uneven risers. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm.